All right, so I want to get into Sampler here and show you a little bit about the Sample tab. This is kind of the main window here. And I've dragged in a little vocal sample and with my keyboard set up as a MIDI controller, I can just go ahead and play this sample here. Over here. Energy fluctuation. Energy fluctuation. So every time I hit the key, it's going to play this, this sample here. And then let's take a look at the sustain mode. Basically, this here is just a one shot, meaning it's going to play it once and stop. This here is a loop, meaning as long as I hold down the key, it's just going to keep repeating the part that I've got selected. Energy fluctuation, energy fluctuation, energy fluctuation. This here is going to be uh, forward and reverse. Energy fluctuation, energy fluctuation. And then if we hit reverse, we're going to get the exact opposite. Energy fluctuation. Energy fluctuation. Just like so. So I want to get into a more interesting part of this sample tab here and set it over to the loop section. And then you see this little icon here that has it set for loop. So basically you've got two arrows on the left and two arrows on the right. The, t the top section is actually your loop section. These bottom arrows, this is a start point and end point. And I can explain that a little bit later in the other tabs. But you can actually set a loop point here, like let's say there, and then I can just have it loop that part. Just like so. Now if I move this over here, let's say, and say I just want to loop this end, what it's going to do is it's going to start here, it's going to play through the sample, and then loop this last word. Energy fluctuation, 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 fluctuation. Just like that. Now another interesting thing that you can do is you can actually get real tight on the loop, and it really turns into something completely different than a word. So let's go ahead and uh, experiment with that here. So I'm just going to hold down the key, and then here with my left mouse, I'm just going to kind of move it inward, move it over to the left. So like this. Energy, fuck, 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 energy, fu
if you are, let's say, taking a piano or a horn or an, a natural instrument sound, and you want it to sound pretty accurate across from a low range to an upper range, uh, interpolation is going to give you that more accurate sound. So that's something to look at. But as you get higher on this, it's going to take more CPU on your computer. So you want to be careful with that. And that's the sample tab.